everyone. I am honestly so excited for today's video. But before we get into that, I want to wish you all a very happy new year. I hope you all have a wonderful 2022. You know, all things considered. <laughs> some time off of YouTube to figure out my schedule and my son meals schedule and um, you know I'm still trying to navigate this whole stay-at-home mom life so it's been a little bit um, different than my usual life but I do think that I have a better idea now of how our days go and when and how I can place my work hours in the day depending on when he is napping or when I can get some work done while he's playing but I am back now and I will be posting weekly videos so expect more small, doable house projects, um, days, weeks, or weekends in my life, and more motherhood and toddler life related content. If that is something that you are interested in, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you on my very small channel. Anyway, let's get back to this project. This project is probably one of my favorites to date, but the entryway transformation is also right there with this one. Now we started this project a few months back in October 2021, and it took us more than a month to finish it. Because you see, that's how it goes when you have a toddler who wants to be involved in everything and wants to help you out in house projects. <laughs> So we started with measuring the wall and figuring out how many wood pieces we would need and I'll be honest, it took us a few tries, you know, taking the whole dimensions and everything. I'll put down all the dimensions in the description box because I can't remember off the top of my head but my husband did all that so I'll be sure to talk to him and my husband cut these in our garage and then he got to work. You can also spot Neil in the lower part of this video since he was up from his nap and because we really wanted to get this done. We just let him hang out in the room with us, you know, like I said, that's how it works with the toddler. Neil, do you like this? Yes. Okay, this is the update. My husband just finished um, putting these uh, squares in the rectangle to the wall. And uh, we did a total of four of these. Uh, these are 28 inches. And uh, the distance between each of these rectangles and squares is, I think, 8.25 inches. And then I, I don't know how much is this distance. But then these are uh, squares. So all of these are like 28 inches. I don't know how much this one is either. The dimensions and the measurements in the description box. Uh, now what is left is we need to still add like um, uh, the same wood across the wall here. And then after that I would probably get to caulking and speckle and all that. There were a few issues that we did come across but I don't think you can really tell. Uh, but I, I will share that with you. So if you can see this one is a little bit slanted like this one. Um, is a little bit like this um, you can't really see it from naked eye but because I have done this um, I can tell but you know when you're like entering the room and when you see it uh, you can't really tell that okay there is any issue with this one and the same is the issue with this one too but since the rest of the three are really well done uh, you can't really tell this one and then I'm also going to add a um, add a shelving in this room so that would probably go in this corner so this is going to be like behind the shelves so you wouldn't be able to see that much anyway 
I'm also so happy that we went with this particular kind of paneling because I was really struggling with whether I wanted to do board and batten on the whole wall or you know just kind of do kind of an abstract um, wall treatment or something but I'm really happy we went, we went with this one and this looks really um, for lack of a better word really elegant to me um, I do need to we do need to go to um, Sharon Williams or maybe just Lowe's to get a, a paint sample I want to do something really light sagey green but uh, we'll see what looks better um, but yeah this is looking really really good um, I, I just smiled as soon as I came into this room after this was done I mean this is just giving me really happy vibes here First of all, apologies because the lighting is really bad. It is, uh, I think, 10 p.m. right now and Neil is sleeping in the room next door. And this is the only time that I could get to finish this. Um, but I don't know if I mentioned this. We also added this uh, center bar here so it looks a little bit more complete. And then I speckled all of it, like everything. I speckled this, like all the nail holes, obviously. Now how we work is both my husband and I, we measure it like maybe twice or thrice and maybe four times, you know, do the calculations and everything for the wall. And then he goes ahead and cuts the wood pieces. And after that, I'll be honest, I only trust myself to cog and spackle the woods. And then both of us, both, both my husband and I, we tackle the priming and painting the wall because that's honestly, that takes so much time. It's not really that hard, but it's so time taking. But yeah, we do divide and conquer the whole process.
the color that we chose for the wall is October Mist from Benjamin Moore. I think this color is also Benjamin Moore's color for 2022. I am not exactly sure, but I think it is. And guys, it's absolutely stunning. I love this color. Like, I absolutely love this color. It is such a beautiful, earthy sage green. It's not too dark, so it works perfect in this room. <music> All right, so we are finally done with this project. It's been going on for, I don't know how many months. I can't remember how many months we've been doing this for, but it is finally done, and I'm so excited to share the final result with you guys. Okay, so this is the whole wall, how it looks. Uh, there is going to be my desk. I still need to like do some decor over there. I have I have another picture that I was hanging here, but I'm not exactly sure how I, how I want to put it here now. I also want to have like a monthly calendar sort of thing where I can track all of my projects that I'm working on. And then I also want to have a cabinet over here. I have a cabinet from Ikea in mind. I'll put a picture of that in the corner. And uh, I really like it, but I'm not sure if I want that because because I don't want to make this an IKEA room. Like my uh, my desk and the daybed in this room are all from IKEA, so I'm not sure if I want that, but it's actually really pretty. And I mean, in itself, it's, it's really nice, so we'll see if it looks good in the room, but this is how it looks. I am so happy with how this turned out. It just makes the room look so much better. It just adds a little something to the room that I'm so excited about. Uh, the color that we chose is October Mist from Benjamin Moore. It's also their color for 2022, I believe. So it worked out really well. We were really struggling between we were really struggling between the colors from uh, Sherwin Williams, Clary Sage, and October Mist from Benjamin Moore. But in the end, we went with this one, and I'm so happy that we did because I think Clary Sage was a little bit, tad bit darker than this one. So, um, and I didn't want anything too dark in this room because you know, because the windows in this room are facing um, west. So we d we do get some light in the evening when the sun is setting, but otherwise we don't get that much. Um, so this uh, color just works perfect. Um, so yeah, I will put all the description, I will put everything that we used, uh, all the items, all the colors and everything that we used in the description box. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, put it in the comments and I'll get back to you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!